Bravery is not defined by battles won. Courage, not by hardening the heart. A hero cannot rise if he has not fallen. One hero, one that calls himself the doctor, meets every mounting failure with growing dread. But you cannot run from your destiny, and you cannot hide from yourself. So the universe will measure him as it has always done, by challenging him to challenge himself. Marguerite! Yes, Doctor? When my next appointment arrives, will you send her in? Use the intercom. The what? Use the intercom. What? Use the intercom! Oh, oh, how did I? Yeah, that's always a sound plan. Red button. Okay, hey Margo, can you hear me now? Marguerite. The other red button. Can, can we get rid of these things, please, and try something else? I am not learning Morse code. But it's such a convenient method. Think of all the telegraphs that you could send. Doctor? It's a great talking point at parties, I don't know. Your one o'clock is here. Oh, oh, okay. Um, all right. Yeah, S send her in. anybody. How am I supposed to find a job? We are assuming you lose this one, right? Well, they already took me off register. Hmm. If I can't do inventory, there's nowhere else to go. Yeah, what do you think keeps you from talking to people? What if somebody asks me something and I'm wrong? Or I say something stupid and I offend somebody? I'm gonna get fired either way. Well, the fact that you are realizing that you have a problem is the first step. If you can focus on the problem, then you can solve it. Let me get my prescription pad. <clears throat> it's very important not to try and hide yourself from everyone. If you box it all in, you'll never truly be yourself. Now, it is of the utmost importance that you follow these directions Exactly. Ah, it's not going to take immediate effect, but maintaining the correct dosage is of the utmost import. What's that sound? Is that, is that your mobile? I don't have one. Margo! This is Carly's Pizza. Will this be delivered? It sounds like it's coming from you. Coming from me. Check inside. Eh, it's got to be in there somewhere. It must be some kind of jokey thing. You know, flashy lights, sounds, things of that nature. What? Of course, I got it off, uh, you know, second hand. Off of a client of mine. What on earth is this? Some sort of 
Ingrid Space Torch. I don't know what it's doing in my depths. Scary. Run! We have a confirmed visual from the target. The mission is compromised. I repeat, the mission is compromised. This week at the new intersection, the driver, a local road worker, claims he forgot about the new traffic pattern despite his involvement in its installment last month. Report. There was a... I can't do this anymore. They talk like they're chewing on tree sap. Speak as you will. It makes no difference now. There are monsters skulking about in his office. Getting a bit close, don't you think? Something's bound to trigger him eventually. Agreed. That sonic debacle drew too much attention. We must take the next step now. How was I supposed to know he kept one in his desk? Drew, you are merely a soldier. And soldiers follow orders. You told me to bring him back. And that's what I'm doing. I have the fob watch. I'm going to go and find him. It would be best to revive his memory from here. I still, I still don't think that's a good idea. I've talked with him. He's broken. If we revive him without preparation, it could shatter his mind. We do need him in one piece if the plan is to succeed. As you wish. Go and find him. See if his human brain can comprehend our purpose. The Alborasa are congregating at a park near your previous location. Start your search there. And Jenny, father or no, you will convince him. I am over by the rocks. It's bright orange. I think I'd see it if it was here. Do you lose something? My dad. I think he's lost. Oh, honey, people get lost in this park all the time. He'll turn up. No, honey, it was somebody else. Don't worry about it. I am over by the fence. It's bright orange. I think I'd see it if it was here. Do you lose something? My dad. Didn't you just... Oh, honey, people get lost in this park all the time. He'll turn up. No, honey, it was somebody else. Don't worry about it. Janine! Doctor? Shh! Oh, bear! Why are you in a tree? Why are you English? It's, what are you. You need to. Shh! You need to calm down. We have to talk. And descend back down into that madness? No, thank you! You, English, some big tall and scary in my office? What's next? Is Margot from outer space? We don't think so. We don't think so? <laughs> What's come over everyone? I'm clinging to my sanity by a thread. About that, are you sure what you saw in the office isn't a result of overwork? Oh, no. No, 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 you don't. I am the professional. I decide what is a hallucination and whatever that was. Well, maybe you should rest. Maybe things will look clearer in the morning? You know, a bit of a lie down may be exactly what the doctor ordered, if you pun the expression, of course.
No chance you know how to get down out of a tree quickly, do you? We could... we could jump. Do you have any other bright ideas? Just one. Catch. <laughs>